Whew, good afternoon, afternoon, afternoon. It's a hot one out here today, guys. Oh, we're starting out over here by the baby bunnies. They're not babies anymore. Just went ahead and moved them on some fresh grass. They are good and healthy. Gave them a little bit of pellets. I also moved a barrel over here for them to keep their feet in. I'm trying to uh, set everything up as easy as possible for when I go to Florida because it's going to be about a week and a half that I'm gone. I'm trying to make it easy as I can for Mike because you know he's a little injured right now. He was telling me, well it can't really get much easier than you already got it, but it can. Uh, you had to always get the rabbit food over there by the adult rabbits and walk it over here. So I have an extra barrel. So I went ahead and put that one over here by the rabbits. Also the dog food used to be up underneath there and I have to walk that over there to the goats where Eclipse is at. So I went ahead and moved that barrel over there. I went last night and got a whole lot of food. I got three bags of chicken food, two bags of rabbit food, three bags of goat food, and two bags of dog food. And uh, Domino's got a little bag of dog food that I bought when I went to Freedom Weekend. And uh, that'll be enough for him until I get back and I'm keeping that inside the tiny house. So we're gonna do that. I'm also giving everybody fresh water because it is a hot one today, guys. And also uh, cleaning out the pools and uh, filling them up as well. That way they got a little bit of a uh, coldness that they can get in and relax. I wish Domino liked the water, but uh, he don't like to get in the pool. Try to get him to get in Eclipse's pool. He didn't want nothing to do with it. He likes just running around chasing me. Put a video out today, guys, on Come On Homesteading. A good one. Really good video. You get to see all kinds of work getting done, but uh, we definitely got it done. Got all that hay moved, and then plus I got three more things that my neighbor gave me. You'll have to go over there and check that out. And, uh, which is gonna be a game changer for some future projects here on the mountain. I'm ended up having to get a new water hose. Uh, the one that I got running across the road right now has got a big hole in it, which is the reason why I got it running across the road. But uh, it leaks more water in the middle there than it actually gets in. Pulling back over here to the goats because I've been letting the swimming pool fill up while I've been taking care of the rabbits and the chickens. Takes a little while, not a lot of water pressure with that big old hole in the hose. Pull y'all back off here. Whew, it's hot. Hot, hot, hot tamale. Let's go with a little MT Homestead. I need to get back over there to those guys. I need to go to Betty Boo's and also go see Mike and Terry. And I've got uh, brand new tires and rims at Mike and Terry's for uh, the horse trailer or the cattle or the livestock trailer I should say that I got from uh, Betty Boo that I bought just need to put new tires in it well I can see Eclipse has already been in you already been in there I see you all wet you've been in there too I got you that big old pool and you're gonna get in the fresh water you're something else girl you're something else <sighs> I just put the goats back in they've been on a field trip I've decided instead of moving them so so much that I think what I'm going to do is just daily just kind of let them wander around and eat. They stay in these woods right here. Every once in a while they'll go in the yard and eat a little bit of the grass over there. But they stay in this area pretty much. And I just let them eat and uh, then bring them back in in the evenings. I think that's going to be the easiest solution than trying to move this fence through the woods. I thought about it for a minute, which we talked about um, putting them out there where the power lines are. And I will do that probably closer to fall, but I don't want to do it in the heat of the summer. There's really nowhere for them to get out of the, the sun. Shelter right here, and I think if it's sitting in the middle of the power line, it being like a greenhouse and just be hot on them. So I feel like right now the best bet is it's in a nice shaded area. It's nothing but trees around here you can see right three o'clock and it's just all shade in here 
So I think that's going to be the best option for now. And I just kind of let them roam around and eat. They don't go far. And as long as I put them up at night, they'll be good to go. Keep from moving through the woods. And being that they've been tackling this area rightly. And that's the area I kind of want to get cleaned out. And whatever they before fall and winter, then it, fall and winter will take care of it. And then I'll finish cleaning it out then. Uh, let's see here. Took the grapple off the tractor. And I uh, put the forks on for the project that I did yesterday. Moving all those hay bales. Y'all want a sneak peek? I'm going to give y'all a sneak peek of the other things that my neighbor gave me. I ended up buying the hay. Like I said, I got a really good deal on it. But uh, his brother actually gave me these. Which will be extremely handy. Check this out. Some nice gates. Got some little uh, one by one tube still. And then the green gate in the back, it's been up pretty bad. Rather, I'll chop it up and use the poles for different stuff, bracing, stuff like that. Or try to lay it on the ground and run Uber over it and see if I can straighten it up some to actually make it for a gate. Uh, Adeline has been at a sleepover at the 41.36 since 4th of July. She'll be coming back today. We're all supposed to meet at the lake here in a little while, do a little swimming in the evening and then she'll be coming back home tim from ridge life's on his way as well he's going to stay the night with me tonight head out tomorrow we're we're actually going to get into a little project tomorrow here on the mountain uh he got some things that he wants to show me and i've always been curious about it so um let me get a little edge of location tomorrow what are y'all doing chief Chief don't really like to go on field trips. He's more of a in the pen type of critter. Huh? You're all wet. Look how wet you are. You're already playing in the pools. I know you love it. Oh yeah, you're actually going to eat with me standing here? Eclipse is a shy eater. She's always, uh, she thinks you're watching her around. She normally don't eat. <coughs> Who are you yelling at, Chief? Leave that baby alone. That's your son. That's the future. And I think Chanel's pregnant again. Look at that bag. Yeah, I'm talking about you. And oh, Icy is still not pregnant. I don't know if Icy can get pregnant. She definitely should have been pregnant by now, and she has not been yet. So, I don't know the future of Icy here on Come On Mountain. Because if she's not going to produce, then she's not going to be here. So, I don't know. I'm going to have to do some thinking on that. But it does look like Chanel is already pregnant again. I need to separate Chief. That way I can kind of control a little bit better. Um, of when they have their babies and stuff, which is fine for her to be pregnant now. But, uh, yeah, she definitely is. Definitely is. That bag is starting to get big. I just noticed that the other day. It was like within three days it just went... Whoop, which tells me that she's probably getting close again. But her babies are weaned. They've been weaned for a long time. I've just been storing them for the time being until, uh, Mel and Gary and Anthony and Roxanne get their structures in place to be able to keep them. Um, but I do believe that'll be happening here soon. Uh, I have been talking to them about it here recently, but I definitely need to get them moved out before the new ones get here. For sure. Pretty girl. Huh? You sitting like a pretty girl? Yeah. I would pet you, but the fence is on right now. Alright guys, this is just a short one today. I wanted to touch in, check base, check base, touch base, touch base, not check base. Uh, I need to get this water turned off and uh, do a little bit more. I need to clean out the pool for the ducks. That's the next step, but try not to make a mess over there. I don't want it to get all wet inside there. So 
I wanted to get the goats taken care of first and get everybody fed and watered and now I'm gonna go ahead and clean out the duck pool. Ah, it's a ducky situation. Love every single one of y'all. Hope y'all are having a great weekend. Stay hydrated guys. It's hot out there. It's hot, hot. Whew, see y'all tomorrow. Come on.